Jellicoe's opportunity to create a new urban landscape came in the 1950s. To address the chronic lack of housing after the Second World War, the government set about planning 22 new towns. Geoffrey Jellicoe had been involved in rebuilding war damage and was offered the chance to design an entire new town and he chose Hemel Hempstead and worked on it for a year. In fact, he was paid the princely sum of a thousand pounds for it. But his proposal was regarded as too avant-garde and was rejected. However, he did subsequently design a water garden that runs through the middle of the town. I can see it there, snaking through. And, and that word snaking is very apposite because he transformed his design to deliberately be a snake. So we can see the body of the water running through. And then the lake at the far end is the head of the snake. And, and he famously wrote that if London could have the serpentine, then Hemel Hempstead could have the serpent. Now the point about this was not that it was a nice idea that people could enjoy but that it struck deep into the collective subconscious. So that municipal landscape, places where people lived and worked and played, would be enhanced and enriched, despite the fact they were unaware of it. And that design could do this, not just in gardens, but deliberately as part of working lives. <laughs> To give the illusion of space at the heart of the busy new town, Jellicoe makes the water seem more extensive by varying the width of the channel and creating vanishing points. And like Shoot House, the weirs are carefully designed to make different sounds. The path along the bank deliberately meanders to slow people down, to create the time to enjoy the garden. I'm meeting up with Dominic Cole, the landscape architect who's been given the job of renovating this really significant piece of 20th century design. It was like a bursting opportunity to rethink how cities work. Jellicoe, I think, is the master of, of the new towns. What is stunning here is the, the structure is all still here, the paths, the bridges, the water, as intended. He wanted to create mood. So here was very much about just, you, you might have been to do your weekly shop or whatever, but you, on the way back to the car park, you could just stop here for a minute and read the paper or whatever. So it really was about a, a breathing space between busy, bustling high street and getting back into your car and carrying on with your everyday life.